My name is Jeremy Sharon. I'm the uh, program manager. Program Managing Director for Everest Wellness Corporation. Uh, we are an organization that focuses on bringing high-level wellness activity to corporations, uh, organizations. Uh, particularly, we focus on the line workers uh, within uh, organizations, which we bring them high-level wellness programs, uh, such as on-site activities as uh, Zumba, uh, on-site wellness coaching. Uh, we also do on-site um, health activities, Lunch and Learns. Uh, we bring the whole high level overall um, wellness programming to organizations that would normally not have it. And like I said, we like to focus on those who, <clears throat> individuals who sit, like we said, sit at the front line that don't have the opportunity or be able to afford uh, some of the uh, amenities that big corporations can afford. So we try to bring it to them and because we know that they're the ones who are doing a lot of the hardest work and suffer the most amount of stress. If I had a choice and anything I want the world to know about me is that I care uh, about people and that I'm a person who just wants to uh, achieve like anyone else and want to empower other people uh, to achieve. And uh, I'm a person who wants to lead by example and be that individual that people can look to um, that, you know, that they want to aspire to be. My why. Why do I do this? Why am I doing this? Why are we here creating? Why is Everest in existence? Because I basically understand from the standpoint, you know, at once upon a time in my life, you know, I was an uh, underserved worker. Like I had to upskill myself. You know, at one point, um, I worked uh, on a service line and worked within these uh, in line management, and I saw how tough those hours are. But you know, I was able to, while in a job where I was working and being underpaid and it was like at low scale, I was able to pull myself up and I went to school at night and I had always had the focus that I wanted to be something more than what I was and I always thought about individuals who might be in the same position as me and at that time that was in the same position as me and that wanted something better. You know, I used to see a lot of people in other careers that were just doing so well, um, people that I even worked with and I said, you know, I want to be that. It reminded me of the movie um, uh, Pursuit of Happiness. I don't know if you ever saw that movie, Pursuit of Happiness. I remember Will Smith, he, was, he saw the guy with the nice fancy red car. And I know that feeling, what that feeling is like, you know, to look at somebody that has something more than you. Or you not that you can't get there, but you want to be there, but you don't know how. And sometimes, it, it, you know, there are a lot of individuals that are in places that don't really know how to get to where they want you know, want to be. And But not, just because they're at that position doesn't mean they want to be there and they don't want more. They just need to be upskilled and educated. So we created Everest Wellness so that it can reach, you know, the line management, the line workers, so that they can, we can encourage them through health um, and also, you know, and encouraging them um, through, 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 through coaching and just all these amenities that we have to offer. My personal connection is that um, I love to encourage people. I love to, first of all, I, I, you know, I was an athlete in, in school and uh, I, you know, was always a person who worked out. Um, I did basketball, I did a little bit of football um, and I wanted to take this, this, uh, continue my wellness goals, my wellness journey uh, on further. And I used to, you know, train people, um, got into training and doing personal training with individuals. And um, then I started working in, in corporate sector and just saw that I was able to combine my two passions of you know, being in corporate and as well as health and wellness and combine it into one. And it just said, hey, this is a perfect area for me. And I just went forward with it. If I could wave a magic wand and change Baltimore, I think I would change the housing landscape. I see there's a lot of potential here. Um, and you know, one of the things that as I drive throughout the city, I see a lot of neglected buildings and a lot of neglected landscape, a lot of neglected real estate that I think could definitely come up. I'd like to see it, you know, I'd like to see it come up to a level that it's on par with all the other major cities. You know, with, with that, it coming up with its own people that are there bringing it up and not having to, you know, gentrify it in order for it to come up. But we want to see it come up with the people that are there within the community bringing it up to that level. Uh, that's one of the things I would like to see. I think the key to making Baltimore a safe and more vibrant city uh, and innovative, um, I think it's being, you know, big, bigger minds, greater minds within the city. I think the, the, the government, the police department, the fire department, all the major city organizations need to just come together on one page and definitely be more organized. Um, organization is key. 
Uh, bringing bigger and high, more high level thinkers within the city is key. Educating and upskilling the city as much as possible, getting more jobs within the city is definitely key, you know, without a doubt. Um, I definitely feel like uh, it, it could use just, just uh, uh, um, individuals and thinkers that think outside the box. And really we start to connect and to um, put ourselves on the map with all the other cities and working with all the other major cities within America. America. I think I love you know, the idea of the social innovation and I, I'm glad that I have an opportunity to be a part of it. Uh, it's important because I think that it gives me a, a chance to even learn even more about what other individuals are doing to help up, um, bring up Baltimore and what other individuals are doing to help um, you know, improve uh, uh, the city in a way that it, how, how we, we come together as a partnership and create strategies. And I love to get in with other thinkers and it puts me in a room with other thinkers and uh, it allows me to build and it just increases my mentality, my, my knowledge, and it makes me a better person and, and it helps me help others and you know, bring my knowledge to them and make them a better person. So I really love the idea of uh, being a part of the Warnock Foundation and what they're doing in their mission. Hashtag my Baltimore. It's just a sense of pride of, you know, of taking pride of, of being in Baltimore, taking pride of the city um, and, and really claim it as your own. You know, rather than it being a second class citizen city, we reclaim it. It's my Baltimore hashtag. So we rep it, we bring it up. Hashtag upskill America. Yeah. That would be my hashtag. Hashtag upskill America. That would be my hashtag. I just want to thank. Um, the Warnock Foundation, Mr. Warnock, um, and Mrs. Warnock, uh, Tamara, uh, everyone that has we've been able to work with that chose me for this uh, fellowship. I'm honored. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to us to you know get to working on things together even more. Uh, I've enjoyed the time that we spent together already, and I really really appreciate it. Um, we're looking to do big things. Hey, let's keep bringing Baltimore up. Let's put it on the map as the number one city. I can't wait till we get together and uh, start even uh, to strategize and what we can do even more to create even bigger and better things. So have a great day. Enjoy this. I'm your guy, Jeremy Sharon. Thank you so much. We'll see you around Baltimore. Let's do it. Take care. <laughs> the music. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>